February 15th to each group um, that for this um, $30,000 grant that we're trying to get. And they were going to write it up for us at a cost of $500. It was for the two handicapped parking places. We are going to have, um, going to use the cement slab that we already have. And on the right hand side, we're going to put a handicapped parking place where you can unload from the passenger side right onto the cement. And then on the other side, we're going to put another handicapped parking place. Um, and we're going to have a handrail so the handicapped and out of them have something to hold on to. And as they said, we're going to kind of apron the cement to kind of fix the parking lot so it's easier oh, for um, everybody to walk up on. The other thing I'd like to talk about is the meter. This was what the meter was that I had replaced. It was on the diesel pump. You want to pass it around? Is that the one that you said wasn't broken? Yeah. Very accurate. This is the one that was in the Auditor <coughs> General's letter saying that it needed to be replaced. And I commented in the last meeting, and everybody said, oh, no, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and I also got the, the pumps calibrated. Now, to have this done by the state, I couldn't just have anybody to do it. My two options were Jenko's or um, Reitz, George Reitz and Sons Brothers. Um, they are certified by the state. So the meter itself, the new meter that's on the diesel pump, costs $203.75. And the labor and the mileage um, cost three hundred and eleven dollars and seventy one cents, and the total price was five hundred and fifteen dollars and forty six cents. Did you call me on that? No, I did not call you on that. That was that was by the state that we needed to get it done. In the last meeting, you said that there's nothing wrong with it, and by the looks of it, you can see how would you ever read the numbers? How much was it off? We read the numbers. They were covering. No, the numbers. Well, the state sure didn't think they were fine to the tune of seven thousand bucks. I also bucks. want to bring up one more thing, and then I'm finished. I want to know how we're keeping track of the fuel. How are we keeping track of the fuel? At this point, how do you suggest we keep track? Of the fuel? Well, I found in the truck how we are keeping track of the fuel in that little book. This is how you guys have been keeping track of the fuel from January fifth. Like when was this? That was 2010. Okay, where are we keeping track since we need to keep track of the fuel? Where have you been keeping track? You guys have been driving the truck. What, what have you been doing to keep track of it? So, mm -hmm. so we get our look at the truck. I, I, honestly, I haven't, I, I have not written it down. On, on a piece of paper. I have it on the back of the time card. My time card that I carry with me, I'll write a document. It needs to be transferred. We to need to yeah, get, we need a book. We need a book. We need a book. We need something that's put out there. And everybody knows that you always have to get a book. Yeah. And the mileage. Yeah. And then what we do is we write it down. And then we put it in the Why don't you put a building over it, like Henry said, and kill two birds with one stone, have a place to keep your your documentation, so the truck driver doesn't have to come in the building? I'll make something up on the computer and, and put something. Linda, may I make a suggestion? Sure. I didn't get a chance to talk, so I have a few more minutes. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Oh. Okay, I wasn't asked. I wasn't I was here, we had a clipboard right here, and every time anybody no. took that truck out, they put That's that mileage down. Right. And I'm here to tell you, when the state auditor comes in, that is the first thing they look at. And you had it out in the office right, right here. Right here. So when they came in, the got, well, unfortunately, the, the tanks were here then. That's why we put it here. If the uh -huh. tanks are over here, it should be closer to your tank. Yeah. That's why it was here, because the tanks were here. So 
And did you have like a form that you, you there was a form and it was simply told you it said should be in the file. You can make copies of it and it should be on a clipboard every time anybody takes that a clipboard for a any cut out. Yeah. It should be recorded on that yeah. form. For the loader or anything that they're because I know from a past experience that, that is the first thing the state auditors look at when they come in. And they don't look at it for just the day they're there. They they take the whole path and look back not from the last time they were here to audit. Yeah, they cost us seven grand this time. So I make a motion that from now on in, that the clipboard's there, whoever's taking the deal yeah. writes it right down. Okay. Okay. All right. Aye. Please, you're going to make up the paperwork. That works. Okay, so you're done? Um, what, well, I'll pay for the roof over the tank. I'm concerned about now we don't I'll have the warranty on yeah. the snow plow. Now that the snow plow, I mean, I can't understand how we went through another brand new snow plow. You You've already through. replaced the cutting edge. We just got that a few months ago. The insurance company just paid for that. Have, I got a question. Have you ever plowed snow? Done no, but I can see what's being okay, abused have, in the equipment. you have no clue what, where, yeah. how, when. It, it, a snow plow, you told me, you told me guys, oh, we'll get this snow plow, this will be better. Last time when it, the other snow plow was destroyed, you're like, oh, the snow plow's a piece of junk. It doesn't work, blah, 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 blah. We need to get a better one. And you looked at them, we had bids, and you said, That's oh, this was such a better one. And now here we are. The cutting edges are a wear item. You can call it. Yeah. They are a wear item. Two or three months. That's right. Not two, three months. Season? I mean, it was brand new. Put the shoes back on the plow. You'll save the cutting edge, and you'll save the roads being dug up. Yes, I have done it. More plowing yeah, you ever believe, Frank. Right? <laughs> it's an issue. And here's stuff from the library also. Put the put the okay. shoes back on it. You won't be ruining the roads. Yeah, it makes sense. What we get. Per. In the time it takes, like, you can't do that. It has to be a. It has to be a number. No. You can't do that. It has to be a number. No. It can't be that way. You have to. If you put that down, you have to pay them health insurance. It doesn't make sense. We no. I'm not going to be quiet. We have. I'm having people complaining on the other side of the river. Go ahead, plug your ears. I'm screaming and it's hurting my. I'm not screaming. Okay. We need to sit down we got we got to figure out what we're going to work on at this point in time i would like to have and jump in anytime you want to there when they're frankie um that needs to clean to burn through the roads keep the water from coming out of the road there needs to be um holes spilled over in eagle rock on old ferry road um there's a culvert that got washed out apparently over there. I have not had the opportunity oh, seriously? to Seriously? Not again. Um, the, the roads need gravel, the roads need that. Some of the, some of the uh, downfall need to fix up down Henry Fen. Um, Which is all well and good, but how many hours a week? That's all you have yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, what about Walnut Bend Road? I mean, if Walnut Bend Road, it's like... You take your life in your own hands when you go on Walnut Bend Road. Yep. No, it's actually 45 is the speed limit. No, one of the fine. ditches. Yeah, one of the signs got out of the ditches. Yeah. Yeah. When I get another vote, it's going to be posted at 45 again. Just no, to let you know. Be. Yeah, it will you. be. Yeah, it will be. Then the state police can enforce enforce the speed limit as long as there's a 45 speed limit. Oh, yes, they can. I've already talked to the state police about it. Meanwhile, how many hours are we allocating? I'm allocating 40 hours. You can't. You'll have to pay him insurance. Pardon me? You'll have to pay him insurance if he works 40 hours a week. The hell you don't. You better look into your workman's comp. I voted against me. I would go up, I, my thought, up to 40 hours a week and whatever. I think if I were you, I would say 38. About stuff all day. And something's different is going to happen in between now and next week. That's what you call emergency funds. Have, we gotta have a plan on what we're gonna they do. They don't say 38, we're screwed. We got to, Frank, I have people 
that have been complaining about the same thing for you for eight years. And I have people complaining that it's whatever. And I have, oh, we'll fix it and never get stuck. Enough said. I want to get, I want to get road work done. Well, I why, think the, why are you griping? I'm not griping. It's the, we got to sit down and, and yes. as a board, we got to figure out yes. what we want, what our goals are to get achieved. I would, I would like to do that. Okay, if then let's do quiet. it. Well, this isn't. Well, you're rambling on about stuff. I mean, you want question. You wanted somebody to work. That's right. You wanted workers. I do want After workers. After we have the workers, you have somebody that is willing to work. You're griping about him working. No, I'm are griping you, about not knowing that he's are, working. As a supervisor, I shouldn't be are, sitting in my house thinking, oh, there goes our, our employee that's supposed to be, you know, that we all hired, we all agreed to hire him, and not even know what he's out doing. You, you know, when I see him, excuse me, why don't you, you take an interview? If you can talk, oh, great, good yeah. man. Yeah, and I, and I should know, as a supervisor, I should know what my what my employee is out doing for that day. Walking around? I should That's have bullshit. to walk him over here every time and ask him what he's doing. It's because he's been joking. And how is she supposed to know what to do as far as helping on the roads when you're ro running the township out of your pickup truck? Nobody knows what the hell's going on. Frank. Hey. Okay. I make a motion to up to up to forty hours as need be. Whatever materials you need. See, here we go. Throw it up in the air again. If you see something that needs done, say something. Yeah, but you what have to allocate the hours, done? Frank. What doesn't need to be done? You have to say a minimum of this or a maximum of that. We do need everything want, done. But you don't want to have. You don't want to pay anybody. Yes, you I do want to pay them. You just have I to know what you're paying pay them. them. But we got to sit down and figure oh, what, we're, what roads we are going to work on this year. You just can't just throwing some gravel and doing some ditches isn't going to solve our problem with road work in this township. It's an election year. He has to it's do it that way. It's like putting a bandaid on it. I mean, we need to do. We need. We need to figure <coughs> out where we're going to spend our money that was. Talk to, talk to us. We're all sitting here. You have all these people. You know it all. Let's go. We need Tell to me. do something on Walnut Bend Road. The pavement is falling apart on Walnut Bend Road. You cannot do anything on the Walnut Bend Road at this point in time until it settles down. Once it settles down, see what happens with the, with the blacktop chunking out. You can fill it. You can pave it. You can do whatever. You can seal coat it. But at this point in time, you cannot do anything with that blacktop road. All right. Then are you agreeing with me that we are going to seal it, black top it, or do something with the pavement then? Sure. Are you, okay. Go on. You heard it, guys. I, I am looking. That's hey. fine. I hey. am looking at something to work on that you have. You need stuff done right now. There's pieces you need done. You need um I talked to Ernie. You need gravel over in Eagle Rock. Ernie always needs gravel over. Um, you need gravel down in Henry's Bend. What are you about? You don't live over there, so what do you even know where to Ernie, uh, you, you just got 8,000 bucks for the plowing or, or uh, grading done over there. Yeah. And because these guys chose not to dig the ditches out, you got another 10,000 well, worth. That's what I'm saying. These guys needed to do it right to begin with. Come time that he can get out there and dig the ditches. I have him clean all the catch basins, clean all the dishes. He's I have done. no problem. And we have no problem with that, but how much time well, is it going to spend? Whoa, 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 whoa. She's, she's, a, she's a supervisor. A supervisor. I don't care. You know, I'm allowed to speak. I'm a citizen of this community. We need to know if our employees work in 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 hours a week. That's all we're asking.